All right, gang. We're going to do two things right here. I'm going to ask you to do this. I want you to set your timer. It's very simple. We're just going to do a plank, standard plank, set your timer for one minute, find a Bible verse or a couple Bible verses that you want to read, and you're going to read over those verses over and over until that alarm stops. You're going to do a 60 second timer. You're going to read that verse. You're going to work on your spiritual fitness as you're working on your fit, physical fitness. It's one exercise. It's a basic plank. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my timer here gang for you. I'm going to set my timer for really, I'm going to set mine for a minute and five seconds. Read my verse. All right. It's a good way to get your mind off of the exercise. So make sure your back is flat, elbows into the body. So I'm going to pull up that verse. I'm going to find my verse here. Good. All right. See what happens here. Let me look it up again. First Corinthians 16. Okay. <clears throat> I'm reading first Corinthians 6, 19 through 20. Do you not know that your body are the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You are bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God with your bodies. Now I like to state that verse over, put my name in there. Ron Henderson, do you not know that Ron Henderson's body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in Ron Henderson? whom Ron Henderson has received from God. Turn it off. Ron Henderson, you are not your own, for you are bought at a price. Therefore glorify God with your bodies. My friends, that's what we're doing as we exercise, as we read the Word of God. And I'm going to tell you this. That minute went over, went by so quick. Get into the Word of God. Use it, have it plain when you're exercising at home. Find some scripture that, is, that you're drawn to pray about it. Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal what he wants you to read. When you hear a scripture and it resonates with you, it becomes rhema to you or whatever it is, okay? Take that scripture, chew on it, get into that word of God, all right? Let's do that, gang. I, I think that, I mean, I believe in you. That's why I do these videos, but I want to encourage you no matter where you are, to make sure you're including scripture with your exercise because you want to be spiritually fit, but you also want to be physically fit. We're spiritual people. We're living in a physical world. Our body takes us around. The devil would like nothing better than to see Christians physically down because when you're down and you're aching in your body, you're hurting all the time, it's hard for you to focus on the things of God. But when you're healthy, when you're vibrant, then you can really focus and do what the Lord has put into your heart, my friends. On that note, I'm going to submit to you today that if you increase the word knowledge, that's going to help you with everything you're doing, my friends. I hope this has served you well. Ron Henderson, a.k.a. the Fitness, and Fitness King. I hope this has served you well, my friends. Ron Henderson, a.k.a. the Fitness King. All right. Stay fit, stay blessed. And if you like this, share it with somebody. Encourage another person in Christ.